Hey guys, so Apple is now set to release iOS 18.3 as early as tomorrow or sometime this upcoming week. And I wanted to share with you guys some last minute details in regards to iOS 18.3 as we now have the official release notes and bug fixes coming to iPhone with this next update. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is some of the bugs that Apple is addressing with this one. And I want to start off with the calculator because Apple has now addressed an issue where if you type in a mathematical equation, you can now repeatedly click on that equal sign right there in order to repeat the calculation. There was a bug within iOS 18.2 that prevented users from doing that. And Apple mentions that with this software update, that bug will be addressed. Now, another bug that Apple is addressing here with 18.3 is within type to Siri. So if you double tap on the bottom portion of your screen, obviously you'll bring up the keyboard for typing to Siri. But some users reported issues where the keyboard would just disappear when trying to type to Siri. Apple confirmed that this was an issue and it should be fixed with 18.3 as well. Now, something else that Apple mentions on their release notes is in regards to Apple Music. So if you were playing a song within Apple Music and you quit Apple Music, it would still continue to play the song in the background until the song was completely done and this was something that obviously you didn't want to happen and apple says that apple music issue has been resolved where playback continues until song ends after closing the application so there's going to be some of the bugs that apple will be addressing officially with ios 18.3 now two additional things important to note with ios 18.3 apple has confirmed that starting with this next software update apple intelligence will be enabled by default on compatible devices throughout the onboarding process so right after you update to ios 18.3 if you have an apple intelligent compatible iPhone then Apple intelligence will be enabled by default and if you want to turn it off you can obviously you can go into settings head on over into Apple intelligence click right here Apple intelligence and then you can turn it off manually but again Apple has confirmed that moving forward with this software update 18.3 this will be enabled by default on all devices compatible with Apple intelligence now again something else that I do want to mention and I've mentioned this several times the notification summaries will be temporarily unavailable for the entertainment and news category applications. So just keep in mind that once you update to iOS 18.3, you're going to go through the notification summary setup and you may see this right here again. Apple has confirmed there's been several issues and errors with notification summaries. So the news and entertainment apps will be temporarily unavailable. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about bugs, battery, and performance. Now, let's talk about the bugs because there's a few things I wanted to mention here is number one, I'm happy to report that over the past several days after using iOS 18.3 RC, I haven't encountered any camera issues, so I'm happy to report that. Now, previously with the betas and with iOS 18.2, if I try to launch the camera application, I would get greeted with an entirely black display as you see from the screenshot right here. That is no longer happening. I also had some issues where if I switch between lenses, it will freeze. I'm happy to report guys that it appears that these issues have been resolved at least for the RC with iOS 18.3. Now, something else that I know some of you guys are experiencing is some weird display distortion, which I did as well, and I reported this multiple times, but I'm happy to report that with iOS 18.3 RC, I haven't encountered any screen distortion, at least as of right now with iOS 18.3 RC. Now, keep in mind that this software update will be available soon. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking about the battery life. And again, I have to say, good news here as well, at least based on my experience, battery life has actually been pretty solid, pretty phenomenal for me with iOS 18.3. So I went my entire day yesterday, and then today I went ahead and charged, and you see here that I'm getting at least eight hours of on-screen time, which is great, and everything seems to be running pretty solid so far, at least with this last, again, last RC for iOS 18.3, which should be available as early as tomorrow or throughout the week of the 27th. And there you guys have it, just a few things to note before the release of iOS 18.3. Thank you for watching this follow-up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.